Today, I'm doing a brutally honest test and review on the supposed extreme hair growth effects of rice water on your hair. AKA, we're gonna finally uncover the truth. If you've searched for rice water lately, you probably got bombarded with videos of people stretching their hair, claiming its length is the result of using rice water. The biggest alleged benefit is extreme hair growth, fast, thick hair growth. Besides extreme hair growth, people claim that rice water can also make your hair mighty strong, extremely soft, super shiny, manageable, and it even gets rid of dandruff. When I heard it, I was like, girl, where's my jasmine rice? But the issue I found mainly with the extreme hair growth claims is that none are science backed none we're still gonna test it all i'm saying is that the few studies on rice water are full of gaps from being ran by companies that sell rice based hair products to going off claims made by people years ago and not actually studying people in the present time as per influencers reports on rice water for hair growth most don't even attempt to show actual proof they just keep on stretching their hair like So what are actual scientists saying about this ultimate hair growth treatment? On supported conclusions, Dr. Ziner, a respected dermatologist in New York, is quoted saying that despite its popularity, there is no real data showing that rice water truly enhances hair growth. But why does this rice water craze even exist? Japanese women in the 700s had long, beautiful hair that touched the floor. These women claimed that their long hair was the result of yuzulu, aka rice water rinsing. As time passed, Chinese women adopted the treatment as a hair cleanser and nourisher. You may have heard of the Yao women, known as well as the real-life Rapunzels. They have this long, beautiful, healthy hair that remains black and healthy, even among the oldest of these women. Legend has it that a Yao Rapunzel once whipped the heck out of an intruder with her long, strong hair. See, that's the kind of Rapunzel I wish I had growing up. As present time media outlets share the story of the Yao tribe and their hair potion, influencers of all kinds began preaching about the power of rice water. But what they fail to mention is that typical Asian hair, which is largely thick, straight and black, has been proven to have a much faster hair growth rate in comparison to other hair types. Not only is this kind of hair known for growing faster, but in the case of Yao women, they are known for cutting their hair only once in their life once they turn 18. So all this gets me thinking, what if it's not the rice water that's making their hair so long, but their good genes and the fact that if you cut your hair only once in your life, it's probably gonna look, I don't know, pretty long. To find out, we gotta make rice water as close as we can to the Yao women's style and test it. To make it, I'm using sticky white rice, which is a favorite among Yao women because it's high levels of nutrients and vitamins. However, it's scientifically known that your hair does not absorb vitamins, and if I'm not mistaken, neither does your scalp. So we're better off eating this. Now, there's inositol, which is a carbohydrate that apparently nourishes your hair. And that's our best hope so far. Obviously, we need water, so I'm filtering mine as suggested by Isabella DeMarco because it comes the closest to the river water that Yao women use. These are the main ingredients to get rice water, but if you want, you can spice things up just like the Yao women do. As a matter of fact, they love citrus peels, specifically pomelo peels, but I don't have that. Thankfully, YouTuber Isabella DeMarco found out that grapefruits are pretty close to pomelo. If you don't have a grapefruit either, you can use peels from oranges, limes, lemons, really any kind of citrus can help. Yao women add more spices and roots to further personalize their recipes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of tea tree and rosemary essential oils.
Now that we got everything, I'm rinsing my rice to get rid of impurities. Like the young women, I am caressing the rice between my hands, giving it a lot of love, but also making sure its properties go into the water so that our hair gets really, really long and also very beautiful, hopefully very soon. For essential oils, I'm not adding them just yet because some oils lose their properties in water boiling temperatures. And honestly, I don't know if mine would, so I just rather prevent it. Now that the water is warm, I'm okay adding the essential oil. So I'm gonna stir everything, pack it up real nice, and leave it in the darkness to ferment for at least two weeks, as the Yao women suggest. This is the water after two weeks of fermentation. The scent is mildly sour, pungent to be honest, but the citrus does help. You can definitely smell it in here. It's not the greatest scent ever. It smells like cheese. Oh no, really? Yeah, some dirty cheese. I think we gotta get going. To prep, I'm following Yao women tradition by using a wooden comb throughout the hair treatment to detangle and to apply. I read that wooden combs are more delicate with your hair and scalp. It's also believed that they promote hair growth, but I couldn't find any evidence confirming this. Next, our inspector Naya makes sure that the bucket we're gonna use to rinse our hair is 100% clean. I'm detangling my hair to make the application easier. Ideally, you have a little bowl to pour the water on your hair, but I grabbed the closest thing to me, which was this very inconvenient glass. Once the hair is wet, the Yao women begin spreading the rinse with the wooden comb. But please be super gentle when doing so because wet hair is a lot more fragile than dry and it's easier to break and damage. I'm carefully combing my hair following the Yao technique, which consists of gently forming a kind of ponytail at the top of your head and brushing through to spread the rinse and clean your hair. I feel it cleaning my hair, like I'm using the most delicate organic shampoo ever. It also feels like I am using a conditioner. It really is helping me detangle my hair. I'm spending at least 30 minutes with the treatment on while I rinse my hair in here, but I read that you can just leave the mixture in like a regular hair mask for the same 30 minutes if you don't wanna keep your head stuck in this bucket. And this is what my hair looks like a day after my very first rice water rinse. I don't think there's like a big difference in shine or anything like that. It does look and feel frizzy but it feels soft it really feels soft god it smells so bad oh my god blue cheese that's what it smells like Oof. following the yao women method i'm applying this every three days so i'm ready for my second application carlos is lighting up our own palo santo incense to get rid of the cheesy smell from this rice water and it works so good. <laughs> if you're curious, links below. Talking about my husband Carlos, for the past one month and three weeks, he has been measuring my natural hair growth rate. And we found out that my hair naturally grows one quarter of an inch per week or one inch per month. If we notice exponential growth in comparison to my natural hair growth pattern, then we could then argue that this could actually be stimulating higher rates of hair growth. I mean, this person is claiming three inches in one week. 
the results are in. One week and two rice water applications later, my hair has grown an estimated one quarter of an inch, which is my regular, typical, natural hair growth rate. Unfortunately, rice water did not work. It's a latch magic on me in one week. But maybe all it means is that it needs more time. So week two, here I come. I continue to rinse this off with plain filter water or organic shampoos, but in either way, my hair stinks. Four applications and two weeks later, my hair has grown less than a quarter inch. Pretty much there is no growth. Same exact place? Same exact There was no growth. No growth. It landed dead on. I went like this. Can we do it again? Carlos measured and remeasured and pretty much there was no growth. Las punticas, like not even... A sixteenth pass on the same line. Oh man. I really no growth. Maybe my hair enters some kind of resting phase, meaning cells are just not generating more hair growth. They're resting and getting ready for the next round. I am not sure to be honest if that's the case. You know I have to ask you, I depend on you for this. Have you tried this rice water treatment and do you notice any extreme or at least uh, faster than usual hair growth? We might have in our hands the actual, the true extreme hair growth formula or not. So if you want to find out if this ends up working or not, I think that you should definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss those future episodes. Don't forget to try something healthy and I'll see you on the next one. Besos.